Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Mihef. I'm from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview Andy Storch from Orlando, Florida, USA. Hi, Andy. How are you doing? Hey, Mihef. So glad to be here. Thank you so much for having me on. Uh, I remember we talked a long time back, and I'm excited to be back here talking with you again. Yes. Thank you for being here, Andy. So uh, you are a talent developer, connector, author, speaker, consultant, and facilitator. You're also the founder and host of several things, including the Talent Development Hot Seat podcast and the On Your Career, On Your Life podcast. But you're also a husband, father, and a friend who is on a mission to get the app about the absolute most out of life and inspire others to do the same. Before I start, so how are you doing, Andy? I know that you share your cancer journey on LinkedIn, but how are you feeling today? Yeah, thank you, Mihir. I'm, I'm doing uh, pretty well these days. Uh, you know, I've, I've shared a lot of the journey. I published my book, Own Your Career, Own Your Life, back in November, and I was uh, diagnosed with testicular cancer around the same time and actually mm. had surgery two days after my book published, uh, to have a tumor removed. And then I've been going through different forms of treatment since then started chemo in chemo chemotherapy in January, mm -hmm. uh, which was really rough. I was in the hospital for a week and then doing an outpatient and just a lot of ups and downs. Um, a lot of days on the couch in January and February rescheduled a lot of interviews that I had, including one with you, this one with you. Um, but, uh, I think I've gotten through the worst of it. I hope and I'm um, feeling pretty good these days. Got some more energy back. I'm doing a bunch of interviews yeah. this week, um, having lots of great conversations. And uh, you know, I've been sharing the journey along the way on LinkedIn and social media because I want to. I want this experience to be valuable to everybody. Yes. And I know that you know, there's often a reason why we go through things. And you know, of course, it's not something I would wish on anybody. Uh, and it's been very, very challenging. But if I'm going mm -hmm. to find a silver lining, I'm going to find some opportunities from it. It's that I get to use this experience uh, to teach and inspire others. So help people that haven't been through something like this understand. And I know there's gonna be a lot of people in the future that will go through this. Yeah. And I'm going to be able to help and inspire them uh, with my reinforcement and reminders of focusing on gratitude, having the right mindset of resilience to get through things like this. Yes. Uh, so it's been a challenging experience, mm -hmm. but um, I'm getting through it. I'm feeling good today and I'm looking forward to being able to help and inspire more people as a result. Yeah, especially I feel that sometimes men, they don't talk about their feelings or yeah. they don't talk about cancer. I feel that that's very courageous. And I'm sure everyone, like I'm sometimes inspired like, or get emotional when you're sharing your journey or when you're in the chair or when you're saying that I just came from chemo. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate it. And and you're right. You know, a lot of people have reached out to me and said, oh, I had cancer. I didn't tell anybody for several months or you're very mm -hmm. courageous for sharing. Uh, it comes a little bit more naturally to me, but I'm just kind of like, if I'm going to go through this, I might as well share it with people and let them understand what that experience is like and hopefully yeah. benefit from it. Yeah, thank you for that. So my first question is, which is obviously on your, which is about your book, which is behind you, on your career, on your life. So what inspires you to write the book and how can job seekers benefit from this book? Yeah, well, I've been in consulting for about a decade now and I've had the privilege of traveling all over the world, running workshops for executives and managers and working with thousands of different people and seeing what uh, helps people become successful and what holds a lot of people back. I've also noticed a lot of people really drifting through life and through their careers, sort of operating in reaction mode, waiting for other people to tell them what to do, their boss, their colleagues, their friends, mm -hmm. their parents. Uh, and I've been there too, but I wanted to create uh, a roadmap, a book that will help people kind of wake up, take, stop drifting, take control of their future uh, because the opportunity absolutely exists. And I find that when people take ownership of their careers, when they take ownership of their life, mm -hmm. when they act more intentionally, uh, when they have clarity of vision and purpose and know where they want to go and why, uh, it leads to a lot more happiness and a lot more fulfillment. And so I want to help. My dream is to inspire more employees to own their careers, to achieve their goals, and to have more fulfilled careers. Um, the other part of that, too, is that as I've been in the entrepreneurial world, um, I often find, hear this message that if you don't like your job or where you are, you need to quit the nine to five and go mm. start your own business, right? Yeah. Which 
you and I both know is not for everybody. I run oh. my own business. I love it. I love being an entrepreneur, but that is not for everybody. Most no. people want to work for a company. They want to be part of something. They want to have colleagues. They want to know that there's a steady paycheck coming in. And yeah. that's great. Um, they also just want to be fulfilled and happy in their career. So I want to help more people mm -hmm. do that. Um, whether you are mid-career and you're looking to maybe make a pivot or tweak some things, mm -hmm. or you're new uh, into your career and new into the job market, as you mentioned, there are things you can do to help set yourself up for success and, and prepare for the future. So do you think that having uh, identifying your why or knowing your values is important in job searching? Oh yeah, I think it's. I think that's really important. Um, when you have more, um, when you have more clarity over where you want to go with your career, you know. In other words, you kind of set a vision for where you want to go. Mm -hmm. You have a dream of, you know, I want to one day be a uh, vice president of finance, or I want to get into marketing. Yeah. Um, so it starts with that that clarity of vision of knowing where you want to go, and that comes down to a lot of self awareness, mm -hmm. uh, understanding your strengths and weaknesses, and what you're good at, what you enjoy doing, what gets you in the zone and the yeah. flow. Um, but then the next thing you can do is connect to your values, connect to your purpose. And many people have not really sat down and done this, but there's a lot of values exercises you can do. You can go Google this right now and um, start to understand what are some of your values? What are the things that are most important to you? And that helps you understand what would you like to be doing in your next job? And you know what would that dream scenario, that dream job look like? And then you can be a lot more focused in your search and your approach. And then, of course, you mentioned purpose as well. Yes. Most people don't have any idea what their purpose is, why they're here. That's okay. Yeah. That's normal. Mm -hmm. um, but you do have an opportunity to connect to that purpose. Think about why you get up every day, why you do what you do. What is that dream or vision? What motivates you to go out and achieve that? Do you have a family that motivates you? Do you like helping people? Do you like inspiring people? Do you like teaching people? Yes. Um, do you like uh, creating value in certain ways? Uh, whether it be through financials or marketing or HR, or whatever type of job you're doing, what's motivating you to do that? Because a lot of people don't realize how much freedom we have in our life and our in our career, right? If you, yeah. so many people say, well, I have to have this commute. I have to go to this job. But the truth is, if you live in the United States or Canada, like you and I do, or 90% of the countries in this world, you have the freedom to go work wherever you want to. So you yeah. are actually making that choice every day to do the thing that you want to do. And now it's a matter of owning that, right? And yeah. saying, okay, this is why are you going there? And when you have that purpose, when you have that why, it helps you overcome the challenges. It helps you overcome the terrible things that come up and push through some of those things and work harder to achieve your goals. So I do think it's really yeah. helpful to go out and connect with a purpose in that way. I totally agree with you. Why I'm doing this interview series is just, I just want to help people yeah. get all the tips from great leaders or the top leaders like yourself and others so that their job search will be more easier than when I came to Canada eight years ago and I didn't know anything. So that's why I've been doing this for the last four years. And yeah. um, thank you for sharing your journey and about your book. And so for the audience watching or listening, I'm going to ask Andy a couple of questions and I'm going to post them in, com in the coming days. So you'll be journey with us. You can like all the videos, share your thoughts and tune in next time for another great question with Andy.